As some of you have heard me say many times, having a bootable USB drive for Windows 11 prior to having major issues with the operating system is an absolute must. If you're looking for our Windows 10 how-to video we did earlier, that link is in the description. On Windows 11, it's easy to do. Doing this will save you both the time and hassle when you need a clean install of Windows. To start things out, you'll need to get a new USB flash drive or one that's already been used that is now empty and has been formatted. For creating the Windows 11 bootable USB drive, you'll need to get one that has at least 8 gigabytes of storage, but a 16 gigabyte or larger drive is recommended for faster install times and to accommodate updates and tools. The good thing is they're not expensive. You can get them in the price range from $5 to around $10. I'll be doing this demo with a Lexar drive, but I've already created a bootable drive for this computer with a 16 gigabyte SanDisk drive, which is what I recommend. You could get something larger than 16 gigabytes, but that would be overkill. I'll put the link to this drive I recommend in the description for those that need a new one. We'll now head over to the site to download Windows 11. The link to it is in the description of this video. You'll see that you have three options here. This is where the tutorial differs from the Windows 10 tutorial. On Windows 10, we use the media creation tool, but for a lot of users, it's been an absolute hot mess. So we'll skip that one and go down here to download Windows 11 disk image. Go to the drop down menu, select Windows 11, and select download now. Select the product language, and for my case, I'll go with English, then select confirm. Now select 64 bit download. Before moving on to the next step, if you're using a USB drive that was previously used and have not reformatted it to be like new, plug it in, and in my case, it's labeled as drive F. If you have anything on that drive, delete or move the contents somewhere else. After you've done that, right click on the drive and select format. There shouldn't be any reason to change anything here. Click on start. You'll get this warning that formatting will erase all data on this disk. Well, obviously you've already deleted or moved the data, so let's move on. Click OK. This should only take about a second or two to format. It'll say format complete, then click OK. And close it out. With Microsoft's media creation tool being a buggy mess, the next step is to install a free program called Rufus. In other words, it seems that Microsoft, being obsessed with AI, has become somewhat incompetent in handling basic tasks for Windows 11 and other stuff. You'll want to download the standard x64 version. They also have a portable version, along with downloads for x86 and ARM as well. Go to where you downloaded Rufus. It's just an executable. No installation is necessary. Double click on it. For device, make sure your USB drive is selected. Then for boot selection, Go over here and click on select. Now select the Windows 11 ISO that you downloaded earlier and click on open. You'll see that it's now selected. Leave everything else the way it is and click on start. Leave the top two checked and everything else unchecked. Click OK. You'll get this warning that all data on the device will be destroyed. So as I told you earlier, if you're using an old device, make sure you deleted or moved the contents inside the USB drive. Click OK, and then just wait for it to finish. When it's done, it'll say ready. Click on close. Unplug the bootable USB drive you created and store it in a place you'll remember when you need it. In the future, if you ever run into problems with your computer that require a clean install of Windows 11, plug that drive into your computer and boot it up. When your PC starts, it should boot to the drive you created. Thanks for watching. Links to the sites mentioned are in the description. If this video was useful for you, give it a thumbs up and share it with others. For those of you that are new to this channel, subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss out on our latest tips and tricks for Windows, along with other tech-related stuff here on Brett in Tech.